Hey everybody, it's Bill from B-Dub Records. Today, comparing gimbals for you. I'm gonna review two, and uh, hopefully it's helpful to you. We've got the DJI Osmo Mobile here, and we've got the Zhiyun Crane here. We're gonna look at some test footage and talk about uh, the price and the features. Uh, I hope this is helpful to you. I know a lot of my clients are in the business of making music videos or other videos, and gimbals are incredibly popular now because you can get results that are just stunning, steady cam like results without having to work as hard. It's a lot easier. I've used steady cams for probably 10 years now, and I tell you, I'm so glad that gimbals are a thing now because it's so much, so much easier and so much better results. Uh, first, let's talk about the DJI Osmo Mobile, which is very popular now. Uh, the price is about $300, give or take, and it uses your phone. So the setup is pretty simple. You just kind of put your phone in the cradle, tighten it down, and within about five seconds, you're up and running. And so this is what my phone would look like in the DJI Osmo Mobile. There you go. We're going to make sure it's balanced. Swing this arm out just a little bit more. There we go. And just like that, you're balanced, and you can flip it on. So we'll turn it on. And now we've got a gimbal. We can pan and tilt smoothly, and uh, we can put it in a different mode if we wanted to and uh, have it not pan and tilt with us, but we could use the joystick to do the pan and tilting. So we'll see how the footage from this looks in just a second. Uh, but first, just to note, the setup is, is really easy because it's balanced for your phone. Now, the competition we're gonna look at today is the Zhiyun Crane, and here it is. Uh, this is a, a gimbal that costs, give or take, about $650. Uh, I just happened to get an Amazon Lightning deal on it for just over 500 so I was very lucky. And uh, as you can see, you can put uh, a lot of different cameras on it. I've got an A6300 by Sony on it right now. And the lens I've chosen is a 10 to 18 super wide lens, but it doesn't have any fisheye effect. Um, so you'll see what that looks like in a second. You can also use the 18 to 105 lens or a prime lens like this uh, 1.8 lens or just the kit lens. Um, it's very flexible. Um, and the results, of course, depend on what quality camera you put on it. Um, but we're going to see how it stabilizes as we get into the test footage right now. Let's have a look. So we'll look at all the iPhone 7 footage first on the DJI Osmo Mobile. My wife is shooting this, and um, as you can see, it doesn't look half bad. There's a little bit of up and down motion as she walks, and that's hard to avoid with any gimbal. Um, we're not doing the ninja walk, so to speak, here because we're in a public place and don't want to look any more foolish than we already look with these gimbals. But anyway, uh, this is the uh, scenario of walking into the sunset to kind of test it out. And as you can tell, one of the chief downfalls of the DJI gimbal is you're stuck with your mobile phone, which uh, is never going to have as good a quality as your DSLR. And so you can see the contrast is a little low. It's a little washed out. Um, the field of view is a little narrow. You never can zoom out as far enough as uh, you would like to to be able to get a really dramatic steady cam type shot. But overall, the stabilization was pretty adequate when you're just walking. Okay, now here's running. If you look closely, you can see the image warp with each step, and that's unfortunate. That's kind of a known issue with the Osmo Mobile, and we definitely experience that. Here it is running at full speed and upside down grip and just look at all the wobbles in the image, all the shaking and the jelly-like movement um, really makes this unusable. I heard that disabling the optical image stabilization would help, so I did that in Filmic Pro, but as you can see, for me, it made it worse. So I give this gimbal a very bad rating for use when running. And here is one final low light test driving home and the iPhone again does respectably, but not as good as your DSLR. Okay, switching over now to the Zhiyun Crane with the A6300 on top. Here we are at the food truck event again, and you'll recognize this shot following this, this guy walking. And it looks similar. I mean, uh, there's some up and down movement uh, like we had with the other gimbal. Again, because I'm also not walking with the ninja walk and making myself look like an idiot in public. Um, but the stabilization is good, and because we're able to have a DSLR on top of it, the colors are much more saturated, the contrast is better. 
This is shot with a 10 millimeter focal length and I realized that was just too wide so I zoomed in right here and that's what it looks like at 18. So a lot of times you find that you don't need a, a super wide angle lens to get a nice effect. Um, this is a little underexposed but I didn't want to blow out the sunset. I wanted to preserve the sun and so that's why I didn't do an EV compensation there. So we're away from the crowds now by the lake and I'm able to really walk a little bit smoother and make a concerted effort to make this look good. And I think you can see the results are pretty good here. Um, I just love the fact that the colors look right and uh, has a nice contrast to it. Let's give this one the running test. So this is my wife using it now. She's gonna follow me as I run, gingerly run, not a full on run, but just a, a polite run toward the lake. And she's running as well, keeping right up with me, but look how steady that was. And this is me running with it in the upside down grip and uh, panning to the side so we can see her running. That is running full speed as fast as we can with these things in our hand. And look at that, no jitters, no jerks, no jelly-like movement. It looks like it's just floating. I mean, it's just a really, really good result. And one last thing before we left the food truck event, we just did a little orbit shot around this fountain. One of my favorite things to do, and with this particular gimbal, the panning is super smooth, and so you can move your body right to left and pan it uh, in the opposite direction to get a very good result. So on the way back, here's our low light test. Looks a lot better than the iPhone. Less noise, better colors, a smoother overall picture. Now here's some extra shots that I included uh, because I was really happy with what we were able to achieve. Uh, this is our worship band practice at church and I just decided to orbit around one of our singers and just try out that famous shot you see on a lot of award shows or American Idol where you just kind of orbit around and around and around as they sing and was really happy with how it looked. Here's a totally different type of shot. This was filmed in our church's gym and it looks like it was shot from a tripod, but no, that is actually handheld. This one too, handheld from the Zhiyun Crane. That's it panning, starting and stopping the pan nice and smoothly and man, rock solid. It looks almost better than a tripod. This is running full speed on the floor and panning at the same time, another good result. And this is just out in the church lobby. This I actually shot on the very first day I owned the gimbal and I had a really good result. And uh, you can see here that people are quite amazed when they see it. <laughs> Lastly, this is our media intern shooting here, a Facebook promotional video. This was his very first time using this gimbal and actually any gimbal and the result was great. You can see the 10 millimeter focal length really paid off here to show off the full gym behind me. So there's a clear winner after looking at the footage, right? I mean, I love the Zhiyun Crane. Uh, you saw how it turned out. The footage is stunning. Uh, it's easy to use. Uh, I didn't mention earlier, but all of these adjustments are just thumb screws. And so you want to adjust the roll, you adjust it there. You want to adjust the uh, forward back tilt. It's another thumb screw right on the bottom here. No special tools needed and easily done. Not as quick as balancing an iPhone. My initial balance on this took maybe 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, but now that I've got the hang of it, I can balance a different camera or a different lens in maybe 10 minutes. That's the only downside is it takes longer to balance and it's a little more expensive. But there's nothing not to love about the Zhiyun Crane. I'm going to use it extensively. Um, it comes with this great hard case and as you can see, they've included space for all your accessories in there and they've even included two extra batteries for you and the charger so you never have to be without power. I mean, they thought of everything and haven't skimped on anything. The build quality is great. And the only, uh, the only possibly negative thing is the instruction manual has obviously been translated by someone who doesn't know English too well. Other than that, it's, it's a good deal. It's, it's really good. Now, the, uh, the DJI Osmo Mobile, what am I going to do with this thing? Because of the jelly issue, because of all the shakiness, um, and just because I like the performance of the wide angle lenses so much better, I'm sending this one back. It's not worth $300 to me. It does have some features that the, the other one doesn't, including uh, with the DJI app, you can program it to automatic, automatically pan and tilt and follow a subject around. I'm just not into that. I'm not going to use that. Uh, you can also have it automatically pan over the course of a long time-lapse video. I also don't need that, so I'm sending it back. 
And uh, just an indication of the build quality difference, here's their case. <laughs> and even if you're into soft cases, like I've never been able to actually zip this thing up with it in the case. And so that's kind of like, that's the last draw. You're going back to DJI. And it's not that I don't like DJI. I have the Mavic Pro, which I'll, um, the drone that I'll review later, love that. Um, but as far as gimbals go, if you're looking for one, the Zhiyun Crane is hard to beat. Uh, if you have any more questions, especially about these two and how they compare, feel free to ask in the comments below, and we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching.